Over the Rainbow is a song for hope and mental well-being, supporting suicide prevention by donating to Samaritans. We decided to release this song for this cause after discovering that the suicide rates among men and women were the highest in 2019 in Yorkshire and the Humber, which is our local area. You can't imagine what the effects of the pandemic have done to these figures. Um, I think that the support that Samaritans provide is really vital. It's probably going to be much more needed during the recovery of, of our society after the pandemic. I personally know what it feels like to lose a loved one to suicide. I lost my dad when I was four and a half year old and it was absolutely devastating. It has been the root of my own mental struggle growing up without him. My heart really goes out to anybody that's lived through that. Dad had a very complex and delicate mind, high level of intelligence, and he really struggled with that. He was a musician. He played in a band called Jack in the Breakaways back in the day. Um, I think this is where I must get my music talent from, Dad, and mum, my mum's a pretty good singer as well, so I get it from her as well. The song actually started out in this room. We, me and Matt Nee, we recorded, uh, we did a video of our version of Over the Rainbow, an acoustic cover, which we filmed right here um, during the beginning of the pandemic. We really wanted to release something that, to, to raise spirits, you know, it's such a, terrible time and that was an that were an obvious choice to do that song so we did that and then we received a really unexpected wave of lovely support which inspired us to record a proper single which is what we've done everything about this project is being created at home we recorded it next door in the, what i call back bedroom studios it's not much of a studio is full of books and DVDs and my odd jewellery and things <laughs> and dogs. There's always a dog in there. There's always a dog everywhere. Everywhere, <laughs> wherever I go, there's a dog. I have two beautiful spotty dogs called Luna and Venus. We also had to set up downstairs and use the living room as a recording studio because the, uh, we wanted piano on there and I have a really old piano down there. It's, 127 year old I think she's called Katerina I have names for all my instruments um, so we had to move everything from the dream station which is where I keep all my world instruments and things and we set up a studio down there and recorded dogs included we managed to get my daughter Melody involved on some backing vocals because she's got a super sweet voice and she can reach some of the notes that I can't reach and it just made such a difference. We recorded the video here as well so some of it was shot in this room, some of it shot in Melody's room, some of it shot at Matt's house as well. It was really fun making the video. Matt Nee is such a character. If you've seen our cover videos that we put out online then you know what I mean. There's always lots of fun when Matt's involved. We've been lucky enough to be joined by Rachel List uh, in doing the artwork for us. Rachel's becoming a really popular artist. She's a mural artist. She's going to be part of an exhibition that's taking place as we release the song. I think it starts on the 22nd at Moises Hall where her work is going to be exhibited alongside other world modern artists like Banksy. She's going to be auctioning the artwork there and donating the money to Samaritan so that's really cool. We really hope you enjoy this song and please download it and help us support suicide prevention. Thank you.